So let's continue with operators and in this we'll talk about and op uh, bitwise and operator and bitwise or operator. Now when you talk about bitwise, so let's take an example. So let's say we have a variable called as a and the value for a is 21. And then we have a variable called as b and the value for b is let's say 15. Okay. And whenever you say you are applying a bitwise operator, so first you have to convert this number into a binary format. Now, when you convert a number 21 into binary format, or why not why 21? Let's take 25, or a bigger number. So if you talk about the binary format of big of 25, it is 11001. Okay, that's the binary format for 25. And let's go for 15. The binary format for 15 is 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1. We have four ones. So this is this one is the binary format for 25. This is binary format for 15. Now let's try to apply bit, bitwise and operator. So when I say bitwise and it is this sign. Okay, so this is bitwise and and this is bitwise or okay. Now when you apply bitwise and, so let's say we have a variable called as c and we'll say a and b. Now when you say a and b, the operation will be, so what it will, it will do is, let me write here itself. Uh, when you apply this bitwise and operator, so it will check bitwise, okay, it will compare all the values bitwise. So it will start with the, this value, this first two values, so first two bits. So when you apply and, so when you say and, and is actually, so when I say and, if both are one, the answer will be one. Otherwise, the answer will be zero. Okay. So this is one and zero. The answer will be zero. One and one answer will be one. Zero, one will be zero. Zero, one will be zero. And one, one will be one. Now this one, double zero, one is actually a value which is nine. Okay. And now if I print the value of C, it should be 9. Okay, so let's run this. And uh, bingo, the value is 9, right? So that's how you, you use bitwise and operator. Now let's use bitwise or operator. Now in case of or operator, uh, something, something will change. And that something is when you talk, when you talk about or operator. So let, let's, let's use or operator. So in or, if any of the value is 1 it will be 1 okay so let's say the different let's so let's go for the next combination for or is if both the values are 0 then only 0 otherwise it is 1 okay let's take one more one more combination so let's say a combination is 0 and 1 so again it will give you 1 so if if one of the com one of the value in combination is one answer is one so here your one zero you have at least one one right so it is one we have again one we have one we have one and we have one and this is a number this represents i guess this is 31 so when i apply the odd operation here the value of c should be 31 uh, bingo this is 31 Right, so that's how you use bitwise and operator and bitwise oper or operator. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.